Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangasani and in this video I'm going to show you how to develop a UMAT core for your Abacus. This video is very short and uh, very simple and it's for absolute beginners who wants to start learning how to use UMAT code for defining the material behavior in the model. As you can see in here, this is the code that we can find it from Abacus documentation. And in here, I want to define uh, how UMAT code works. For example, you have a, a part and you wanted to stretch it from here. Uh, you want to, uh, this is fixed from here. Uh, if you stretch it, it's going to increase the length of it. So the initial stress before stretching is zero for all condition. But after you stretch it, if you have the young modulus, you can find the residual stress. So Abacus send this information, for example, the new location of the nodes to the uh, UMAT code and the uh, UMAT code receives them. And by having the material properties, it can give the stresses to the part. So after that, the, when the stresses are transferred to the Abacus, Abacus receives them and it can plot their stress into the model. As you can see in here, this isn't my idea uh, for explaining UMAT code, but I like this explanation, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, in here, uh, in this code, we will receive these variables, k step, k increment, time. These variables I already uh, explained in the other video. I don't want to put more time on it, but uh, I just wanted to quick review them. Uh, this is step number, increment number. This is the time for model, uh, number of element, load integration, step coordinates, and uh, state variable. I'm gonna define a few, uh, explain a few of them, but I'm gonna skip uh, because these variable are more important the stress is the variable uh, that we need we need to define the final stress in the part the state variable are the variables that we need to show in, into the odb file for example if you based on the material behavior we wanted to show something if you want to change them see how the material behaves we can define these variables and assign number to them so we can see the result on it but in most cases, we don't need. Oh, it's not. Imp we're not gonna focus on this in here. The DSCD is the Jacobian matrix that it's somehow is the properties that we need to define. I'm gonna talk about it more next. If you look slide, a strain is the total strain at the beginning of the increment, and DS strain is the in strain increments. It is the uh, so the strain plus DS strain is the final strain, uh, the strain at the end of the increment. Uh, I already explained in the other videos, just wanted to say that uh, time 1 is the current value of the step time, but uh, time 2 is the current value of the total time. For example, in this point, time 1 is 0 0.2 because it is in this location of the step 2, It's but for time 2 because it should consider the whole thing, it is 1 plus 0 0.2 which is 1.2. I'm gonna skip it. I already explained it before. NPT is a load integration point, as I explained it before. These are the integration point in elements. So, and each one has a number one, two, three, four. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, you need to uh, watch our other video about uh, how Abacus works. Uh, coordinates are for x, y, z. The state variable is for showing result. For example, if in a model you uh, wanted to uh, change the material behavior during the process, you do it in the model. But if you want to see this in the ODB file, you want to assign those variables to the state variable. For example, building process, uh, your material change liquid to solids. So you can assign variable to your phase and then you can see the phase changes during the material, but uh, it's not important for here. DDSCD is very important. Uh, DDSCD means second derivative of stress to second derivative of a strain, as you can see on here. If you look at it, it's somehow close to this Young modulus uh, equation. And uh, if you we write it like this, and it reminds us of this matrix. In continuum mechanics, we don't have a single value for material properties. We have a matrix. If you remember, we need to assign, define the matrix uh, for uh, finding the material behavior during a uh, process. So uh, if it, our material is not an isotropic or uh, isotropic, every element in our matrix has a no, uh, value. The, if we get inverse of this matrix, we can get this one, 
which is pretty much familiar to for us. This matrix is for anisotropic uh, material. Uh, the formula between uh, Young modulus and shear modulus is this. And as we explained, uh, we want to find this one because this is for our DDSCD. We need to get inversion of this. Uh, in, uh, we need to get inverse of this matrix. If we do that, we can have this one. This is the matrix that we need to assign for our DDSCD. Uh, actually, uh, I would like to mention that DDSCD can be different from this. Depends on the approach that we use, but it's, it is the most common value that we can assign so we can assign our material uh, properties to the our ddscd matrix and after that uh, if uh, we're gonna go for a uh, model in our model we have the young modulus 200 gigapascal and portion ratio 0 0.3 and the good density is 7800 we have this geometry for our part we're gonna stretch it for 20 uh, we're gonna fix our part from here and after the modeling we're gonna see our results like this uh, we're gonna create the model based default abacus approach and uh, using umat approach and then we can uh, compare the results and see how our code works uh, now we are ready to go for modeling part to create the model we start with part in here we create a 3d part we select a rectangle and then we assign the lengths for here it should be uh, 31.75 uh, for here it should be 51.25 and then the thickness should be 1 we want to compare the abacus default material properties with umat so we're gonna define one material property based on abacus default and the other one based on umat for abacus default we use young modulus like this and then we copy it we call it material 2 and then we remove this one from material 2 and instead of that we use user material and put the values on here 209 0.3 same as that and then we assign the property we first go with abacus default so in here we assign a property and then in as assembly we put the part and instead we create a static general model and in load we need to fix the part in the initial step from bottom side here and caster and we wanted to pull it from the other surface in step one displacement we select this one and then and it should be in y2 direction for 20 okay as you can see in here now we can go for mesh we selected this mesh it's fine but in here the, the important point is that we should uncheck the reduced integration it, it caused error in our model whenever we use uh, abacus umat uh, code so it's true that we're not using this uh, umat code now but it's good to consider it for both models to uh, have the same results so i'm going to create model job one first of all i need to set directory this um, like this and then i'm gonna submit it because the initial increment was large it doesn't need many increments to solve as you can see this is the answer and now we want to do the same thing with umat for umat we assign the properties in here as you can see 200 gigapascal and 0.3 we just need to change it to material 2 but we need to in here we need to create a job and after that we need to assign the user subroutine file in here umat i already created it before submitting i want to show you the umat file this is the umat code that they will develop from here to here you can uh, it's from the abacus documentation we don't need to write it it's already in the abacus documentation these two values are the values that we define in abacus here the first one was young modulus the second one was portion ratio as you can see in here and we define 
the formula uh, for shear modulus. As you can see, here it is. Uh, for DDSTD, we need to assign this matrix as we did explain in PowerPoint file. So for these elements, we define this formula. And uh, for this line, we assign this. And for this, we need to do define G. But uh, because the initial value for DDSTD is zero, so it's already uh, zero for these elements of matrix. And then we, we need to uh, assign this formula for uh, finding the stress to multiply this matrix to this matrix we need to have this command this is the command for multiplying the two matrices and then after that you can have the stresses so this is how your math code works now I'm gonna uh, run the code and here we already define it we just need to run it as you can see the job is completed now we can see the results job one was for abacus default and the second was for abacus using umat as you can see both models both models have same value so which means that we can in this code we could define the isentropic material for one message criteria uh, this works perfectly because the the results the results that we obtain from our umat is same as the result that abacus has for you uh, for default option so i think it's, uh, it's a good for now for uh, you matt um, thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question please let us know so we can uh, help you with until the next video bye